Hi everyone, I'm doing a series of videos for Are You OK Day on how to deal with toxic people in your lives. I'm still learning myself, but this is what I've learned so far and I thought I would share it with other people in case it helps you as well. In the first video, we looked at how to identify if someone has a toxic influence in your life. Now we will look at how to respond to them. Not react, but respond. The second step is using non-defensive language and position statements to stand your ground and not give power to the other person's voice when a toxic partner, friend, parent or colleague um, confronts you and challenges you about your life choices and beliefs. Here are a few examples of things you can say in your interactions with them. Oh, oh, I see. That's interesting. You're certainly entitled to your own opinion. I'm sorry you don't approve. Let me think about that. Why don't we talk about this when you're not so upset? I'm sorry that you're hurt, upset, disappointed. These are some examples I've grabbed directly from Susan Ford's book on how to deal with toxic parents and heal from the, the pain of the legacy. Um, so if you are interested in this, I would suggest referring directly to the link that I've put in the description below so that you can read this firsthand from her book itself. Now let's think about how that could go in practice. If I had an interaction with a toxic person and I reacted to their comments, it could go something like this. John, um, this is my girlfriend, Hazel. <laughs> oh, right. Hi, Hazel. Um, I'm just gonna go grab a drink. What are you doing dating a woman? What do you mean? I'm not doing anything wrong. Hazel's a great person. Do you want to kill mom and dad? How can you say that? You're my brother. You should be with a man. You're going to hell. In this situation, Laura appears to be from a religious family who do not approve of her sexuality and accept her for who she is. Because she has toxic parents who have raised her to believe that she must not do anything that will make them unhappy, her brother John's words are affecting her and making her feel guilty because if she makes her parents unhappy, then she is a bad child. Instead of reacting to John's comments, Laura could instead respond with non-defensive language. Let's try that again. John, um, this is my girlfriend, Hazel. <laughs> oh, right. Hi, Hazel. Um, I'm just gonna go grab a drink. What are you doing dating a woman? I'm sorry that you're upset. Do you want to kill mom and dad? You're certainly entitled to your own opinion. You should be with a man, you're going to hell. It's interesting that you feel that way. Using non-defensive language, Laura is able to respond to John's comments without reacting to what he is saying and apologizing or explaining her behavior, which does not need an explanation. If you're not doing something to directly harm someone or cruel, is cruel behavior or hurtful, there is no need for you to apologize for something that is you enacting a belief or a life choice that is true to who you are. Once you're confident with using non-defensive language, you can follow that up with a position statement. For example, 
After responding to John's comments, Laura could follow up with a position statement like this. I understand your views, but I believe that people love who they love and gender does not matter. Now let's try another scenario. Mario is going to tell his parents that instead of spending his birthday with them this year, he's going away for the weekend with his girlfriend. Mario has been raised to believe that he must spend every birthday and Christmas with his parents or he is a bad son. He believes that he is solely responsible for his parents' happiness and if he does something that he wants to do that doesn't align with what they want him to do, then he is a bad son and he has disappointed his parents. This is Mario reacting to their statements. Hey, mum, dad. Yeah, I booked an amazing weekend with Rita going away for my birthday and we're going up to the mountains. What do you mean you won't be coming home to see us for your birthday? Um, no, sorry mum, we won't be there for my birthday weekend. You always come home for your birthday, don't you care about this family anymore? Uh, Rita's been wanting to go away for a while, so I thought we could do it for my birthday. I knew it. That girl is turning you against us and taking you away from your family. Look what you've done. You've made your mother upset. You're destroying this family, Mario. Look, I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt you guys, but too late. This is not up for discussion. You are coming here for your birthday. I want you to cancel your trip now and come home for your birthday. Now, this is the same situation with Mario responding to their comments with non-defensive language and a position statement. Hey, mum, dad. Yeah, I booked an amazing weekend with Rita going away for my birthday and we're going up to the mountains. What do you mean you won't be coming home to see us for your birthday? Yes, that is correct. You always come home for your birthday. Don't you care about this family anymore? I'm sorry that you're upset. That girl is turning you against us and taking you away from your family. Look what you've done. You've made your mother upset. You're destroying this family, Mario. It's interesting that you feel that way. This is not up for discussion. We will expect you here for your birthday. I am willing to spend the following weekend after my birthday with you instead. The moment you argue, apologize, explain or try and make them change their minds, you are giving them the power to reject you. Sometimes though, these interactions with toxic people in your life may be too much, particularly if it has been built up over years within the family system. Simply using non-defensive language and position statements may not be enough to assert your own self-identity. If you feel that these people continue to have a toxic influence over your life, it may be time in a very planned and articulate way to confront them about the way that they have treated you. You can check out my next video on how you could do this.